Welcome back to the Talos Principle. I did not expect to be recording right now. Given that I'm fairly sick and I'm super, super congested and sneezy, and it's also 10 o'clock at night. But I found some stuff that I really want to share, and I'm really excited to explore it deeper, so I just I had to record. Okay, so the mysteries of this zone, which is mostly solved since I've solved all of the all of the puzzle rooms. But the, the the lingering mysteries here, this Sphinx and the blue power coming from the top of the pyramid, and the two stars that I'm missing, one of which I know is in there, the other of which I have no idea where it actually is, those mysteries were just lingering and they were eating away at me. And in fact, last night when I was sleeping, I actually thought of something in bed, like right before I went to sleep, and I thought, oh, you know what, I think I can do that. Like, I, these ideas kept popping up of possible things to do, and it, it was just driving me crazy, so I had to test a bunch of stuff. So today, while I was watching some live streams, I just put the live streams up on my second monitor and loaded up this game on my main monitor, and I just started testing stuff. I wasn't solving any puzzles, no puzzle rooms or anything like that, since obviously I would want to record that, but I was just looking for possible, plausible leads on, you know, special stuff I could do. Whether the special stuff be finding a new technique, or finding some weird glitch, or finding something outside in the sand, or getting the stars, it doesn't really matter, I was just trying to find stuff. And I definitely did find some stuff. I only found one concrete thing. But the concrete thing was really, really damn concrete and really cool. And what that is, is I solved the riddle of the Sphinx, if you want to even call it a riddle. It's not really a riddle, but... Um, yeah, I, I figured out what to do with the blue power coming from the top of the pyramid. But I'll get to that in a minute. So before I get to that concrete thing, I just want to show you some of the other various things that I tested. And some stuff that I found out. So one of the big things I was testing was the replay record thing. I found that really interesting because it's a mechanic that I've just been introduced to and I wanted to see if there's some special stuff I could do with it. You know, techniques or just just anything special and quirky and weird. So I was kind of just getting a feel for it. The different, the different things I could do with recordings. So we already know from this first puzzle here that you can make a... Uh, you can make a recording. You can do that. And then your recording makes a copy of the connector, and then you can connect to that copied connector. And that works. So you can interact with the copy of your connector just as you would a normal connector. So I was testing some various other things, like, for example, I was testing whether boxes behave the same way, which I'm pretty sure I already kind of tested in some various other things, but I just wanted to go at it again and just really make sure. Because I'm thinking, if I can interact with other, with recorded connectors the same way a normal connector is interacted with, then what about boxes? You know, can I jump on a recorded box? Again, I'm pretty sure I already tested that, but I just wanted to be super sure. And, yeah, for some reason you can't. So even though you can interact with connectors, as if they weren't recorded, you can't interact with boxes as if they weren't recorded. Although I'm assuming recorded boxes would still do things like block laser beams, for example. And they'd probably probably still stop, like, mines or those bouncy robots. They'd probably still stop them in their tracks, I would assume. So I'm guessing, I haven't tested it, but I'm guessing that recorded boxes interact with other objects as if they weren't recorded. But they don't interact with me. But I found something cool in this room, so... I realized one of the things I can use blue power for is this. Now, I had discounted this before because, you know, what's the point? I already solved this puzzle, right? But this actually allows me to do something new. So remember how I can escape out from the level right here? No, oh, whoops. So I can do this. I can pick up the explosives again if I want to. Sure, why not? Now normally, uh, when you're making a recording, and you're getting your blue power from here, your recording can't actually go inside of here. Because your recording has to be the one to put down the connector right here. But, since I'm opening this up from the pyramid, I actually can go out of bounds with a recording. Now, I found this really intriguing, because I was just thinking, ooh, you know, what could I possibly do with that? If I can ever even do it. There we go. 
And the answer, unfortunately, is not much. Because one of the problems is that I can't actually replay. Like, I can't... I can't make my recording actually play. Unless I go back to the machine. And there's no way I can actually get back to the machine without just jumping back down, which would then be kind of pointless, or jumping out into the main room, and then going inside of here, which just undoes the recording when you step through these things. So I was thinking, eh, maybe I can't do much with that. But then I was thinking, wait a minute, maybe the recording automatically replays if you wait out the five minute timer. Because it can only record for up to five minutes, as it says in the bottom left. So I actually waited out the full five minutes to see whether it would start playing on its own, and it does not. So you do actually have to go back to the machine and test that. Now, there's a couple other things I want to test that I think could be interesting, but I have not tried yet because I didn't want to do anything that would progress the game when I wasn't recording. So let's test it now. So I might not be able to do much as far as, like, going back and replaying my recording, but... One thing I want to know is, I wonder if, like, I'm, if I'm in a recording phase, if that would do something with this? Okay. Yeah, not surprisingly, it does not. I didn't think that would do anything. Here's another thing I want to know. So if you're making a recording and you pick up something like a box, it makes a copy of it. So I want to know, if I pick up paint when I'm recording and I go to paint something, if I go to paint a message, does it actually use up the paint, and does the message stay? So, let's test it. Test. <laughs> yes, that's very helpful for my progeny AIs. You're welcome. Okay, so let's go end the recording and let's see if the message or the paint comes back or stays. Well, the message is gone. And the paint is too? Interesting. Okay, um, I seem to have completely erased my message and the paint from everything. I'm not sure if I come back to this region if the message and the paint will be reset or what, but uh, that's interesting. Okay, well that's really all I did with the recording, so yeah, I do have the possibility of coming out to this main chamber as a recording. And that's pretty much it. I haven't really found anything to do with it, but uh, it's there if I want it. I did try even recording myself and then going back through the main portal over there to see whether I could, I don't know, do something super weird. But uh, no, it just, not surprisingly, just cancels your recording as soon as you teleport through. All right, so let's get on to the main, the main puzzle. So let me show you the, what to do with the blue power from the pyramid. And it all started with this room. So I was coming back here and I was just trying to jump back into here to get this damn star, which I still don't know how to get in there. It's driving me insane. There's that star. So I was trying that. Remember how I said... Oh, let me just grab this. Remember how I said that I can get a box out of here? So I can just... Uh, I need to move this stack. Remember how I was saying I I can get a box out of here? Obviously by just doing this. So if I need a box in some other place, I could do that, and if I can... Oh god, it's gonna drive me nuts. And if I could get a box inside of here, I could get the star no problem. But then I, I, then I realized, it's not just a box that I can get out of here. I can get out a connector. So I did that. Took my connector and then went into the main, the main place. And then I thought to myself, "Cool, what's the point?" And then I was thinking, "Wait a minute." 
I read the message that told me to get the power from the top of the pyramid right here. The burning heart always looks to the highest peak. If this is where I was told about the pyramid, perhaps I need the connector somewhere around here. And that's when I discovered there's a hidden connector. And then I realized that that's what the burning heart means. That's what it's referring to when it says the burning heart. It's talking about the heart of the Sphinx. So, watch this. See that? Mm-hmm. I have not done this yet, so I don't know what's going to happen. I'm assuming it's going to give me access to a star. I'm hoping it's going to give me access to the other star as well, but I don't know. All right. Here we go. Ah. Cool. I wish I still had my paint. I want to leave a message inside of here. Just leave a message that says, like, good job. Totally not helpful to anybody who never solved the puzzle, but be a pretty cool little Easter egg for the next AI that found it. Okay, so that's both very cool and also disappointing. And the reason I say that is because that does not at all help me get the star over here. So... I'm kind of... boned. Um... Okay, well, I mean, we know there's... We know there's invisible places to connect power to, right? I mean, there's one right there, and... What's on top of the pyramid is practically invisible. So... Given that there's only red power inside of here... Given that there's only red power inside of here, perhaps there's an invisible connector in the wall? I really doubt it, though, because if there's an invisible connector, people would have found it. You know, you'd find it just by scanning across here, right? Right? Yeah, you would, and that'd be super suspicious and weird. Here, have some blue power. Yeah, cool. Alright, just a quick sweep through here. I really doubt this trick is... No, I don't think they use it for the Sphinx and for this. Nah, there's nothing here. I don't get it. Well... Wait a minute. Let me try something. Okay, uh, this wasn't exactly what I had in mind when I was thinking about testing some stuff, but I think I maybe just found the solution. So this is something that I had discovered previously, but I don't think I ever showed it off. Except I think I finally realized that it might actually lead to this solution. So, okay, let me just take this off. So I discovered a while ago when I was, like, I mean, I've spent like a half hour just in this place, just trying to find, like, the perfect angles to put two boxes down and somehow jump on top, because if I can get on this freaking stack of two boxes, like, that's it. You know, if I could if I could stand on top of this, then I'm in. So I've spent a lot of time just trying to find, like, the perfect angle, you know, thinking, like, if I go up to the wall, maybe I gain a little bit of height, because it kind of, like, the sand gets higher in the corners, and then if I could just jump onto the top. But uh, I haven't been able to find an angle for that. But in testing that, I did find this. And that's it. This statue you can actually jump up on. It's really wonky. Like, it's got some weird physics, and it tends to kind of throw you off sometimes. But you can jump on top of it. And so... What I tested from there was... The possibility of jumping up on his head and getting on top of this thing. Which would then allow you to just go straight in. Which turned out to be a little bit harder than it sounds like. And I also don't believe it's a solution because you can't actually jump on his head, which means you can't actually get up there. 
I'm sure you saw just a, a second ago I had this box up here. Somehow I managed to get it to work, kinda. Anyway. So that didn't quite work, but I think if you look at the distance, I can jump from his lap to this fence. I did it. And if I can jump from his lap to the fence, then I should be able to jump from this fence inside, because it's pretty much equidistant, right? Okay, well, trying to make this jump was just not quite working, but I just found something else that might make it work. So I was trying to make the jump just by jumping straight from here, but I realized if I look behind me, I can actually just barely grab the top box on the stack, and I can actually put the box on the wall. I think this is going to give me the height. I think this is going to be it. I'm crossing my fingers. Please, 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 please be it. it it's going to work. I just messed up. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, Actually, that's... Is that fine? Or do I have to reset the whole thing? Shit. Can I grab you? Oh, no. I can grab it. Okay. We can rebuild. It's okay. These are uh, very, very small margins I'm working with here, though. There we go. Eh. Eh. It's like one pixel where I can grab it. Well, uh, there's a couple. There we go. <laughs> oh, yes. I've been trying to get in here for so long. Is that how you're supposed to get in there? I don't even know. But it worked. For a while I was thinking that maybe there's like a secret fan somewhere outside of the level on like the opposite side of the map where if you step on it it'd like jet you all the way across the sky and you'd like plink right in here. I don't know, maybe that's what you're supposed to do. It is plausible. For a reason that I'd like to state right now, but uh, let's get out of here first. Whoa! I thought that thing would shoot you really far. Cool. So yeah, the reason I thought... The reason I think this is actually quite plausibly the real solution intended for this puzzle is because the statue is so suspiciously small. If you look at the one over here, this one is way bigger. Just look at the top of his head, it goes far above the top of this wall. And this one over here is actually quite a bit smaller. So normal sized statues, you can't jump up on. There's just no way. But this one statue, you can just jump up with one box. It's strange, isn't it? So I think something like this is actually the intended solution. <sighs> well, that feels good. That took a really long time. This is probably the hardest... Well, I don't want to say the hardest stars to get, given that one whack-ass solution I did in the level where I found the kitten pictures on the floppy. That might still be the hardest, but this was pretty damn hard. Not the normal puzzles. The normal puzzles, even the red ones, were not too bad, but those stars were really hard to get. Just gonna moonwalk, moonwalk my way back, because I'm cool like that. Yeah. Oh, the paint is actually back. Okay. I don't think I can paint on the... on the Sphinx, can I? Nah. I can't deface the Sphinx. Uh, You'll be needing a special device to solve this one. And <laughs> they'll be pondering that one for hours. Suckers. Okay. I'm finally done with this place. I feel like I've spent more time in this place than any other place. Alright, well, um... 
feel like that might be a little bit of a short episode if I just end it there. I don't want to get too much into a new place. Um, let's go unlock the next red place, shall we? I believe I have access to a new floor. Tracking of primary subject has ceased. Initiate. Initiate. All right, let's open this sucker up. Alright, so this time let's not make the same mistake I did last time. Is this something that's going to be mirrored? Yes, it is. Because it's a rectangle and I have the same number of parts of everything except for this, which is just one, so... Well, maybe it won't be. Well, maybe it will be. Let's assume that's going to be in the center and everything else is just around it. So I have four of each. Maybe something like that? That looks kind of cool. Could be. That can't be right, though. That can't be right. That could be right. Maybe this isn't mirrored. This would have to be an L. Oh yeah, that is going to work. Wait. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at the shadow of that tower stretching off into the distance. It's so cool looking. I just had a thought. Since I know that power can be supplied from places that aren't actually visible, maybe the blue power I need for the star in this level actually comes from like one of these mountain peaks or something and I just can't see it. It's unlikely because of the fact that there is actually a blue source of power in this level, it's just covered by boards. So unless that's just a tease, which it could be, but unless it's just a tease, I don't think that's a solution. I freaking love this music. It's thrilling. Alright, well at this point I've cut out so much out of this episode of me just messing around and trying to solve stuff that I actually have no idea how long it is, so I'm not sure if this episode is like around normal length right now or it's really, really long. I don't think I should start this puzzle, so... Uh, and you know what, I actually have to go to bed, so... Yeah, let's um, end this episode here. I'll pick up later when hopefully I'm not quite as... nasally congested. Yeah, it feels pretty good to have finally gotten those two stars. Still a lot more to go if I want to unlock the uh, the next star room, but uh, still, pretty good start. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.